exciting news you guys i have been wanting to do this for such a long time but yeah i haven't been wanting to mention anything online as yet i did post a countdown on my instagram but i wasn't really specific about what the countdown was for but i can officially tell you guys and i think by the time you see this i would have already done what i am getting done so anyways i am getting vsg which is weight loss surgery well vsg basically stands for vertical sleeve gastrectomy and the main reason why i'm getting the surgery done is because of my health i haven't really mentioned anything online because really i just feel that it's something that's private and yeah but i want to share the journey with you in case there's somebody who is maybe in a similar boat as i am who might be wanting to get something like this done and yeah i'm nervous i'm not gonna lie because with any surgery i mean there's a chance of not coming out of it um yeah but i've been praying my family's been praying for me and yeah all my loved ones have been praying for me and i really hope i do come out of this alive today is officially the last day that i can have solids and then tomorrow i start on my liquid diet um my daughter my, my daughter my doctor has asked me to be on the liquid diet for three days some people they ask them to be on the liquid diet for two weeks but for me it was three days so i'll i start my liquid diet tomorrow and i leave for turkey on saturday and then i have my surgery on monday yeah I, and i'll be there for a week um yeah but i will be filling you in guys on everything that goes on in turkey they don't need you to present um COVID, your covid results because it will do a covid test when you land overall it's just going to be good for my health because i have been going through it i have been going through it i mean yeah i'm not one to be complaining about oh this is hurting oh that is hurting especially you know at work you're not there to moan about your injuries or your disabilities or whatever you're there to work so only my close friends and family know the struggles that i've had to face in terms of my health but yeah i mean <laughs> oh my god i'm i'm really really i'm so happy i am freaking happy i mean yeah i don't want to talk too much this is two days before i have to fly out see you later while we were out for dinner yesterday, we stopped at Max and I just wanted to get a few things. Mum got his water bottle for work and I picked up some slippers and they've got Be Happy written on them. And what else do I have here? I just picked up these socks. These are, wait, where's the thing? I don't know where's the, wait, here it is um 10 pack skin socks so i've got one i'm wearing a set now so they like that they're actually quite comfortable i'm not one for wearing socks in the house but i just thought i'll get myself into it a friend of mine said i need to start wearing socks in the house just to keep my feet nice and soft so anyways another thing i got so I'm just gonna pack these with my along with my underwear, and then I got myself a gown because I didn't have um, a gown. So I got this one, and it's got a hoodie. I don't even see what's written at the back. Cat love, cat lover. No, but yeah, it will have to do. I'm definitely not a cat lover. <laughs> Uh, and then I got some PJs and yeah smile dream sparkle 
that's definitely what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> yeah, so that's a mini smaller nyana haul from Max. So now I need to try and sort this out. I need to organize the suitcase. I know that when I land on Saturday, I'm going straight to the hospital to get my test done, COVID and all of that, even though I've done a COVID test here, um, to be able to leave Qatar. When I enter Turkey, they need to do a COVID test uh, for their side. And after that, I think if I'm not mistaken, after the COVID test, I'll go to my hotel room and I, to be honest with you, I haven't read through everything, which I should do. But anyways, I know that um, before the operation, I need to have like a whole lot of tests done uh, when I get there, which will determine if I actually go ahead with um, the surgery or not. Uh, probably that will be on Sunday. And then if all is well, then I'll have my surgery on Monday. Yeah, and I'll be in hospital for three to four days, de depending on my recovery rate. So, yeah. That's how much I know for now. And I've spoken to my a couple of coordinators, and they are so good when it comes to communicating with patients. I'm not going to lie. If I wanted to ask a question about anything, they were on hand. And yeah, I mean... They've been amazing. I can't complain about anything at all. At all. I'll be lying through my teeth. So anyways, let me pack you guys and enjoy my decaf coffee. And yeah, I'll show you what I'm packing as I'm packing. So let's do this. Yeah, this is what I'm packing so far. I've got about one, two, three, four dresses, a skirt and a top, cycling shorts and a top there. And what's that here? And then I've got my pajamas. I think this should be enough for a week. And I made sure that the dresses are nice and loose fitting, nothing too tight, as I will be swollen. So I don't want anything that's going to irritate irritate me yeah so now i'm just gonna pack my morning shoes my underwear some cosmetics and what else that's it i think i'll be done morning guys i am on my way to the airport the time now is six o'clock and my flight leaves at 8 30. Yeah, super yeah. Excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. I just put on this wig. Forgot to clean here. And yeah, this is my get up for today. I've just got my dress here and my Air Force Ones. wrong or right feel nothing when you go i know it's not intelligent drinking for the hell of it but that's irrelevant now we should talk about with us how come we're holding no what's really i don't see the benefits now when you broke my trust so i just wonder why do i fall back hey guys i've safely landed in turkey i am now on my way to get my passport stamped and then to get my luggage. I don't think that we ever could work this out. None of it makes sense. There's no reason why. Why else if Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going before we get lost. Can we just talk? Figure out where 